So just running you through how to do push kicks. Push kicks is a very effective technique in Muay Thai and it's also very useful on the street. So starting off, first thing you want to do is judge your distance. When you're practicing on the bag or on the pad, a good way to judge your distance is if you can touch the bag with your fingertips, then you can land that push kick. If you can't touch the bag, then your leg won't be able to reach. So I'm going to touch the bag so I know I'm within range. When I do my push kick, I want to lift my left leg straight up. So I'm going to lift my knee up, then I'm going to kick out, then I'm going to bring my knee back, and then I'm going to land. So you don't want to rest your foot on the bag and then push it out, and you don't want to kick it out and then land forward because you'll be landing into attacks. So a good way to practice is you lift your leg up, you kick it out, make sure you bring it back so that you land back in a nice strong stance and that you're ready for anything. With the right one, same thing, you lift your leg up, driving it through, bringing it back, landing back into your diving stance. The left one normally is quicker and it's easier to bring up straight away, so most people use it for defense. Right one is generally stronger because you're coming off the back, so you can drive all your hips into that attack and bringing it back. But you, if you're quick with the right, you can also use it for defense as well. It's up to you. So a couple of key points for landing an effective push kick would be when you land on your target, you want to curl your toes backwards and contact the target with the ball of your foot. Reason being, it's a smaller surface area, so it'll inflict more damage than if I landed it like this with my whole foot. So I'll curl my toes back and I'll stab it in. So it's called a push kick, but when you land the push kicks, you want to throw it out like a jab. So you want to inflict the maximum damage. So instead of pushing your target away, you want to stab it in and bring it straight back like a jab and then back to your guarding stance. To get extra reach and extension through your hips, normally you would swing your kicking hand down. That will allow your hips to extend further out and giving you that extra range. Okay, so from here, I'll touch the bag to judge my distance. I'll lift my knee up, swinging my hand down. Boom, then landing back in my guard. From here, boom, landing back in my guard. So when you swing that hand down, making sure the other one is up to protect your face, bringing your knee back, keeping your balance. So a general rule is how high you lift your knee is how high you're going to kick. So if I lift my knee up to my partner's stomach, I'm gonna land up to the stomach. If I lift it up higher, then normally I would go to the face. Okay, so from here, one more time, touching the bag, Lifting your leg up, left push, right push. So a good exercise to practice your basic push kick technique would be just practicing just that. Left push kick, right push kick for a whole round, maybe two minutes, just so that you grasp the concept of how to do the proper technique. You can do longer rounds if you need to, but just as an exercise, you might go left push, right push, reset, start again. Left push, right push, Reset, start again. Another good one would be, this is a little bit harder, so it's good to test your balance, and it's also good to train you in bringing that leg back and not falling forward and losing your balance, would be, you do five on your left without dropping your foot, and then five on your right without dropping your foot. So from here I'd go, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll swap. So I'll go here, one, two, three, four. So the tip on landing that correctly and not losing your balance would be keeping your knee up in front and trying to hold it there while driving those kicks out. If you do one strong kick and then you bring your knee down like this, then you'll be hopping all over the place and you won't be able to execute it correctly. So keep those key points in mind and practice the, that on the bag or with your pad work.